So if you guys didn't know already, the top three series on my channel is actually a channel recap where I just pick three of my favorite videos of the specific little uh, title or the genre of videos that I want to pick it on. And what I did is just top three logo tutorials today. So I'm going to pick three logo tutorials I've done on my channel and review them little by little, just little, little ints and bits of it. And the description below is going to be the full length video to click on and you can just watch it and just learn all that cool stuff. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this series. I know you guys really enjoy it. I enjoy making it. So if you guys want to learn some cool little logos, here you guys go and enjoy. Alright, so first up is actually one of my favorite logo tutorials to do so far. Uh, for one, it shows you all the pen tool basics, how to move them, how to curve them, uh, basically how to add them if it's already like filled, the path is like already done. Uh, like I said, it also shows you how to do some cool little cutouts with shapes, actually make logos without using the pen tool itself. And for all around like notice from making like logos and 2D logos and all that cool stuff, uh, the basics is basically only knowing the pen tool, like the pen tool is your lover, it's your god. Uh, it's basically what you need to know while making logos uh, for any program. If you use Illustrator as well, it's pen tool, it's pen tool, pen tool, pen tool. And so yeah, like I said, this is one of my favorites. Actually, it's, it's actually an updated tutorial on how to make 2D logos for my first ever one. I actually got like over 90,000 views. Uh, so this one I made it more informative, kind of went a little bit more slower. And just all around show you some cool little techniques and tips. So if you guys want to learn the basics really quickly before you move on, I definitely suggest this one. So make sure you go check it out in the description below. So this is where it actually moves away from making letter logos or shape logos like in the first tutorial I showed. Uh, this basically takes a text or maybe like you made each individual letter. And what it does is just combine them together to make more of a logo form like text logo. Uh, so I did this try to combine it to E, a U, and a T, a O to make more of a logo type like you know a logo like feel. It just gives you more of a logo feel when you look at it. And what I did is just combine each letter together like maybe adding little features into it. Uh, you see in the tutorial I just made uh, the E and the U combined by extending the E into the U and stopping at a certain point so you actually still see the U. Uh, so it's a really cool tutorial to actually check out if you want to actually spell your name or your company name out in a logo form. Uh, so just check it out in the description below. It's a really cool logo tutorial. So go ahead and check it out. Go, go, go. So last up is actually Illustrator tutorial. I showed you guys around the 3D function that's actually built into the program itself. Uh, actually, I went around using the shape builder tool to actually make the uh, the you know presented logo in the tutorial itself, where I just used two circles and cut them out with the shape builder tool, which is actually a really important tool to use in Illustrator. So I really advise you guys if you know how to use that, you can watch the tutorial to actually learn how to use that as well, uh, as well as making like really nice, clean, professional style logos. Uh, so it's a really, really like nice, informative, professional kind of like logo tutorial. So I really advise you guys to check it out. Uh, it's Illustrator program. It's kind of different in my channel. It's like from my second Illustrator tutorial. So anyways. I want to say thank you guys so much for all the recent support and just I really just been loving it like all like you know the likes and the comments just my Twitter followers all just blasting up as well so if you don't follow me on Twitter ask this way I really advise you should uh, just updates and all that cool stuff talking to me asking questions will be answered on Twitter uh, so anyways thank you guys so much for almost 22k already uh, just all around support I mean I just really can't wait to see what just happens to my channel in, like the next year or something I really want to hit like 50k or something that'd be insane so anyways thank you guys so much for all the support talk to you guys later peace